Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm working on the convertible top hydraulic system. Uh, I got the back seat out. Uh, you got to take the back seat out for this and it's not too bad. Uh, if you've never done it before, I, I found out it's pretty easy. It's mostly you lift the bottom cushion up and you pull the top cushion out. You can see the, the seat back hangs from, from those clips and then it it pops into those down there right here. So I got some cleaning up to do under there. But anyways, once you get the seat out, you got to take the well liner off, which again is pretty easy. It's just a bunch of screws holding it in and this metal metal plate, it, uh, it clips it in. So here's the, here's the well liner, you know, that goes in. You can't see it goes in like that you know, holds in place. You get that out of the way, you can see the motor. Hydraulic pump. It just sits in there on rubber grommets that pop into those holes. And uh, that's better. And you just gotta plug, plugs in with a connector and the motor grounds against the back of the seat. Uh, this this motor's shot. I tested it. I wired the battery directly to it. I put my multimeter on it. There's no current going through it. Um, so I got a new one coming from Rock Auto. I'll get to test that out soon. Um, but to get it out, you can see you got those hydraulic fittings. You just loosen them up. There's one there. There's one down here that goes in kind of underneath. And then you got the lines, they're nylon lines or PVC or something that run to the cylinders. I got the cylinders out, they're real easy. You got this bolt that goes through here. It bolts the top of the cylinder to this lever for the top. And then you got bolts on the cylinder. They go up in here. So you got one on this side and then you got one in the back. It's a little hard to get to. You can get it. I've got it just threaded in there lightly. I put it in the wrong way because I don't want to just stick my hand back there again until I really needed to. But yeah, you back those out and the whole thing drops out. And then again, it's got those same brass fittings for the hydraulics. I did the other side. Uh, I don't know the condition of these. I'm assuming they're okay and they work, but uh, I found the replacements on eBay. Someone was like, they must've been trying to get rid of them. They were brand new, still in the box for a really good price. The jet, the ones made by Jegs. So they're decent quality. So I just, I got them because why not? They were, they were cheap. So yeah, it's, it's coming together. Uh, it it appears that the uh, big cars, the convertible system is is similar among them. So it's not like Buick has its own uh, hydraulic system, right? This seems to be shared among all the big GM cars. And then I believe the smaller ones like the Skylarks and Chevelles and things like that had might have had a different system because the parts... Uh, seem to be unique for those different models. So there you have it. I'll share another update when I get it in. Take care.